Dion, welcome back, back at Bradford City for a second season. That smile's back already. I guess you're happy to be here again. Yeah, definitely. Um, everyone made me feel at home last time. I was, <laughs> didn't have to think twice about coming back when I got the offer. Um, I'm just happy to be back, see the fans on, on Saturday and uh, see the boys on Thursday at training. Talk to us about how the moves come about, obviously, over the summer you've, you've been at Luton and played a few pre-season games for them. What has your summer looked like in that sense and what has brought you back here ultimately? Uh, yeah, so obviously I tried to um, get myself into the starting team throughout pre-season, done really well, got a few assists and a goal or two, um, then sat down with the gaffer a, a week ago and um, we agreed that the best decision was to go out on loan and get experience that I need to be able to fit into the Luton team. Um, and then Bradford came up and obviously, like I said previously, you don't have to think about that twice. The experience I had with Mark Hughes last year and the fans and the team, it was one that you can't forget and you can't turn down again. Um, the gaffer gave me confidence, the fans welcomed me with open, open arms. I had a rough start last time with the injury, but that won't be the case this time, so I'm just ready to go. I guess with the way last season ended as well and the sort of form that we were in towards the end of last season, three victories to end the season, you were obviously in a good vein of form personally as well. It leaves you with a bit of unfinished business coming back and wanting to pick up on that same note and have a successful season here. Yeah, definitely. I think obviously the gaffer coming in towards the end of the season and um, seeing the performances increase rapidly, like you said, finishing on three wins. Um, the gaffer said that he wants to push for promotion this year. That was before I even left. Um, so coming back and seeing even yesterday's game, seeing how well the boys are doing this year, I just want to add to that and hopefully push for promotion, like you said. How much do you take from last season? You've mentioned it a little bit, but obviously working with Mark Hughes and the supporters having the relationship with you that they do, there was obviously all, always a lot of praise last season for you when you'd come into the team. Being able to pick up back on that, as a player for Bradford City this season must give you real encouragement. Yeah, definitely. Like you said, Mark Hughes, you don't have to go into detail on, on the name. Um, he's had an amazing career himself and in the managing side of it, as, as last year, he helped me one-on-one -on -one with attacking situations, not, like, not so much on the ball, off the ball, because he said how, how good I was on the ball, so it was good. Like, him feeding me confidence as, as a young attacker hearing Mark Hughes tell you that's that sort of stuff and helping you off the ball which you need to work on it gives you a huge, huge amounts of, of confidence which I need. You made some good relationships with your teammates last season as well made some good friends and kept in touch with lads over the summer obviously a few new faces coming in this summer as well how much are you looking forward to as you mentioned earlier getting back into that dressing room and picking up on relationships and forging new ones as well? Yeah so um, obviously Lee Angle and um, Ian, Issa even, we play a lot of PlayStation together so I've, I've stayed in contact close with them over the past few months and even um, Jamie Walker, obviously it's sad to hear that he's injured but these are relationships that you build on and off the pitch and me going back to Luton I was always going to keep in contact with the boys. I've, as you said I've seen a lot of new faces but if they're, any like the, if they're similar to any of the other boys that I'm friends with them we'll all be pushing for the same thing, which is the same goal of getting promoted. How much will that help? You mentioned just towards the end there, relationships and how important they are in a team, in a squad. But if we are wanting to achieve this season and aim for what the gaffer wants us to do, how important are those relationships inside the dressing room? Uh, I think team chemistry is, is so important for a promotion team. Any sort of team to get success is, is a massive, massive factor of it. And I think obviously there was um, a lot of team chemistry last year and towards the end with the right manager putting the pieces together, it's a perfect combination for success. How confident are you? You've seen, no doubt, what this team can do already this season when you know it's on form and, and playing the way it wants to do. How confident does that make you in terms of coming into a dressing room when you know what your goals are, you know what the gaffer wants to achieve in that we can achieve and we can do well this season? Well, for one, I think we're, well, Bradford as a whole are a much more possession team now. I've, I've seen some of the stats and you have a lot of the ball, a lot of attacking play and defending. We're, we've improved so much from last year. And um, if we done well towards the end with 10 to 15 games with Mark Hughes with, with a whole season and these boys had pre-season with Mark Hughes and I think it's only going to get better and better. The first game, not a bad start for you personally out here on Saturday against Walsall. I guess you're looking forward to getting back out in front of the Valley Parade crowd again. 
Yeah, yeah. I've been as soon as I heard Bradford, I I checked who they've got on on Saturday and saw it was at home, and I just wanted to get it done as soon as possible to give me the best chance of helping out the team on Saturday. You've got a final message for those supporters? They'll be looking forward to seeing you out here on Saturday. Uh, I've missed you. All. I've seen all your Instagram, Twitter messages, and <laughs> they're hard to ignore because it's it's nothing but love from all of them, and uh, I just want to give it back to them on the pitch.